Welcome to Berlin. So I just arrived here not too long ago. It's actually not a bad dorm space at all. Um, there's a bunk bed, a closet here to store our clothes, a sink down here. Plus, we get our own bathroom and shower, which you can't really complain about, especially if it's a college dorm. I'm here because I'm doing a two-month study abroad program run by Northwestern, along with a company called CIEE. For the next couple of months, I'm going to be taking classes on German language and culture. I have absolutely no experience in German, so this is a completely new language for me. We are now heading downtown to see the gates that lead to David won't tell us what the gates lead to. What We're having trouble with the You put it in, you take it out, and you're gone. That's the university we'll be studying at second session. You said two? That's fine. Yeah. How, do, how do I say one of each? Like one? Uh, I'm, he said mango he said and I'm food dust. Dragon fruit. <laughs> Dragon fruit. <laughs> <laughs> This is a tourist moment. The whole group jaywalking out here. So this plaza right here is super famous. This building right in front here is the Concert House of Berlin. On the right is the French Dome, and on the left is the German Dome. The person who's depicted in the statue here apparently wrote Ode to Joy. Like the poem, not the song, because that was Beethoven. This little pit right here in front of the Humboldt University building is where the Nazis burned a bunch of books. And the empty room with the empty shelves is a monument to that. see how the city is organized differently than most American cities or just like New York City for example. You start from the center, there's like a circle and you just build outward. It's not really like a grid. We're rotating no, right we're now. We're rotating right oh now. my god. Stop. Wait, we are. I was I did look. This is the German parliamentary building. We had to go through like basically passport control and security to get in here for obvious reasons. In order to get a tour here, you have to schedule like weeks and or sometimes months in advance. So this is a really cool opportunity. Right now, we are in a hallway with the names of basically everyone that's ever served in the parliament. You'll notice there's an empty space. It's right around the 1930s, 1940s time, so we'll let you guess who that was. And now we are inside the dome of the Bundestag. Right. Go up, go up let's go. Right now we are at the KDV, a huge mall slash department store, super like upscale. This entire floor is dedicated to just like foodstuffs. So right now we're in the chocolate section, 
and there is like every single brand of chocolate imaginable right here. This is more of like a, you pick and choose what you want from like a display. I mean, they got all sorts. I've never even seen any of this before. What is making that fuzzy like that? Bro, I'm like salivating right now. I gotta get one of these. Which, which one do you I, I wanna get that, I wanna get that cake. These gotta be some of the best donuts I've ever seen. Let's, I was thinking of maybe white chocolate and strawberry, or we go for the, the blueberry lemon cheesecake. That looks really good. Spilling. Holy. Look at the middle of that. I got it on my nose. <laughs> I got it on my nose. Today is apparently the start of this thing called the Kreutzberg Festival. It's basically an outdoor festival where they have a bunch of open air stands and a lot of like live music. So we're gonna go check it out. Me and Manny right here. Oh, Bro, you almost hit her. What you just get? Thank you, Yo. Is that good? Boom. Oh. We're in front of this booth that's selling this snack called Dragon Breath. You want to try it out? Oh yeah. It's really cold. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh. How'd you oh. do that? Oh. <laughs> Today we're here in Leipzig, which is just south of Berlin. We woke up at like 5 a.m. this morning to come here. This man is the fiend for these Durs Lotions, bro. How much you buy? Two liters. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of Leipzig so far, bro? Stop playing, stop playing Worst Capes, bro. Mm, it's pretty, it's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. Uh, the tour is really interesting. You know, like, I've been That's cap, bro. I've been paying attention the whole time. But the city is really cool. Bubble tea! No way, no way. You know I'm going. You know I'm going. You leap bubble tea. Yes, sir. So here we see a statue of Bach. Bach was pretty important to this city. He spent a lot of his life and career here. Performed for like something like 27 years. Pretty important figure in this city's history. This place is so cute, bro. Oh my God. That's really good. Holy, it is huge. We are now in downtown Hamburg. The city immediately looks quite a bit prettier than Berlin, I would say. So this right here in front of us, this really old looking building is their town hall. It's one of the oldest buildings in the city. So apparently this sculpture right here is supposed to be a bull. Oh, On that, I call bullshit. Oh. 
I am a firm believer in Port City superiority. This Barcelona, so far in Europe, my favorite city is in Port City. There is a ferry here that is considered public transport. And if we have the nine euro ticket that lets us access all transportation across Germany, we can apparently ride it for free. Where is this taking us? Anyone know? Uh, we'll find oh, out soon down enough. the river. Italian and Schweiz. Let's, let's start with Italian and Schweiz. Why not? This place is really, really cool. This is Italy here. That's the that's the Vatican right there, isn't it? This Venice replica is amazing. The trains here move, bro. This is so cool. You can see the parts where they're still building. This construction of Monaco is unfinished right here. They were not playing around with Swiss. Look at this. I feel like I'm taking like drone shots right now. That is a lot of many people. It's got some like Stranger Things vibe going on right now. And there she goes. Ghost Cavern. Right here, right here, right here. Oh! Switzerland has always been one of my top destinations to visit, and if anything, this just solidifies that decision. You can see from these little like panels here, like all the little switches and electronics making this place work. Bro, they got people in here monitoring the trains. That's the train's POV right there. I can't even imagine how much work goes into like just putting all this up. Hey. Yeah, planes right here. This plane right here is about to take off. How do they do that? All right, guys, that is going to do it for my Berlin vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. Because I was in Berlin for two months, it was really hard to capture my entire experience in a short video like this. Trust me when I say that this video was only the very surface to my entire Berlin experience. I had such an amazing time studying abroad this summer. For any of you who are in college right now or high school students about to go to college, take it from me, study abroad at least one time. It is such an incredibly enriching experience. I made a lot of amazing friends while I was in Berlin. This is the best time in your life to do it. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today. My name is Richard. I will see all of you guys in the next video. See ya.